Well, the SPCA's Kevin Plowright is with us now to talk about his role as an inspector and what it involves. Thank you so much for joining us, Kevin. Thank you. Now, who have you brought along with you today? Uh, this is young Axel, a uh, young 12-week-old uh, mixed-breed pup. He is just adorable. I've had a little bit of a chat with him out the back. He's just so friendly and such a good nature. He is. He loves uh, human uh, attention and that he thrives on it. So, uh, How yeah. did he come to be with the SPCA? Uh, one of our inspectors removed him from a, actually a domestic violence situation. He was in there with a... Uh, leg that was broken in two places, oh. so we're investigating that part. Um, he's been surrendered to us, and we're getting him fixed up, and oh. uh, we'll take care of him and eventually look for a home for him. So he's not obviously ready to be homed yet because of the broken leg, but no. he will be looking for a home? He will be. He'll be going into foster for uh, approximately four weeks and to recuperate, and then he'll be uh, looking for a home. He's a friendly little sausage, and he's had he a good is. nap, and now he's ready to play. He's active. So how many cases or how many cases does the SPCA investigate each year? It's, it's over 15,000 uh, uh, cases we invest. 15,000? Yeah, and it's increasing. So Gosh. with the population increasing, so does the uh, so does the calls that we investigate. And we do not want it to be increasing. I mean, you've got cases too. You've got a special list of shame, haven't you? That's right. What is on that list? So th there's all sorts of horrific um, um, ones that are being prosecuted on there. We've got uh, uh, someone that uh, yeah, beat a puppy horrifically. He's been uh, a Christchurch man, so he's been banned for life from owning animals uh, and was in prison for 15 months. So it was horrific injuries. Oh, I, I just don't understand how people can be like this. It just seems incomprehensible. To yeah, that's us, right. It? it is. So what can people do if they suspect or they see an animal being mistreated? Yeah, so calling the SPCA is the, the first thing to do and if it's a, a priority one, pick up the phone as opposed to going through the computer and, um, and that way we can ask the right questions and, and get that detailed information that we need. Do some people still email even when it's an emergency? Or... They, they can do, so um, it's just yeah, important that we can see the priority, we can read into it and, and yeah. um, we'll to... want to uh, do a prompt response. You need to talk to people sometime. So how can the public support the SPCA CA offices that they see working. So this week is the uh, the annual appeal week. So convenient uh, that you're here. That <laughs> it, is, yeah. it is indeed. So obviously uh, we've got um, uh, people collectors out there with buckets. So yeah, give generously or, or go to the uh, the website and donate on there. And um, and and that it's a. Uh, with the SPCA, it's a joint effort. It's not just the inspectors out there doing it. It's the, the public of the eyes and the ears uh, and the financial supporters. So we don't get government funding, so uh, the public are a big part. So just quickly, what is the thing that you love about your job, Kevin? Uh, we make a difference. Um, every day we're out there uh, changing the lives um, of animals and you can take an animal like Axel, take it from a bad situation, fix it, put it in a good situation. Yeah, and Axel is just adorable and he's got the nicest nature. I can vouch for that, that's for sure. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure and uh, it's the SPCA's annual appeal, as we mentioned, the week. So please give generously and we have a $50 Pet of the Week voucher too available. Congratulations to Khan from Parapara Umu who... Oh, Khan is gorgeous, not dissimilar to Axel, it looks a little bit the same. Uh, you are our winner this week, so jump onto Facebook and post your favourite pet pic oh, to be in to win. Our Pet of the Week is proudly brought to you by Pet.Kiwi, a one-of-a-kind pet store that provides free vaccines to shelter animals.